Welcome to our Florida Living channel. We hope that you can subscribe and like. This particular sequence is about looking at a boat, the sea trial that followed, and the trip home bringing it to our base. Again, please like and subscribe if you can. Thank you. Well, there's something, somebody going very slow in the right lane. That's why they're passing him. Yeah, now I'm talking about that girl. There. Yeah. They got a bunch of stuff in the back of his car, making them act weird. Lumber looks like. I know one thing. That lumber has got all small knots. Yeah. For the most part, that's, that's pretty good lumber. Wood. Yeah. Yeah, that's premium wood. Heavy traffic for a while, but for the last 20 30 minutes, we have had pretty much the road all to ourselves, which makes it nice. Even though we do have some heavy duty cloud cover, which could let go rain with heavy rain almost at any time. Anyway, we're not yet at the North Carolina border, but probably some 30 40 miles from it. Rocky Mountain. Rocky Mountain is in, is in North Carolina. Yeah, right. I'm trying to figure out where in North Carolina. I think it's the way northern. Well, it doesn't matter. We're not there yet. Well, 15, 20 minutes have passed. All right, he's not going to get over, so I'm going. And we're still in the same spot as we were. I think the reason why he's not getting over because he's trying to tie up that traffic that's back there. Yeah, that must be his idea. Because they all just keep going forward and, and cut in. Yeah. Can you see anything yet? Yeah, this seems to be... It might be that the blockage is right there. I don't know. There's, there's um, a... a um, Diamond, black, a red thing with an arrow on it. I don't know if that's the the sign that the, there is something there or it just happened to go inside. Because I know we gotta get over sooner or later because I gotta take a pee. <laughs> yeah, this is driving force right there. There's another thing that if you travel with a woman, you have to stop every so often. I gotta take a pee. You just took a pee 20 minutes ago. But I gotta take a pee now. Yeah. Uh, somebody's gonna say, no. Let's find the fucking place where you take a pee. <laughs> Wonderful creatures, but sure a pain in the neck. I better cut it off. I'm just gonna go around. Okay, here we are. Getting a bit of fuel. And see if we can manage to get something to eat in a place where we can clearly see the boat. I mean the well the whole rig. Because we don't want to be losing 
some of the stuff. Five the guys, that's a hamburger joint. Mm-hmm. Wanna do that? Sure, whatever. I can park along that curb there. The back there. We can at least get the hamburgers there and we can leave it in the car. Because I like I hate to leave the vehicle unattended with all the stuff we have in the back. Gonna be within plain eyesight. I can guarantee that. Okay. <laughs> Should be clear in the top. Yeah, yeah it's all around. Yeah, you probably should. should I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna clear that hole. Okay. You probably should go out that, that door there. Right? Yeah. I'll make sure we clear the truck now. Yeah. Okay. So far, so good. And then we're gonna make a left, right? Yep. Yeah. We almost got away with avoiding the rain, but the delay because of the restricted highway left us in the path of the storm, but it's not too bad. Now we have to... Well, it seems that we got past the road work that was delaying everything. Clip towards home. Well, we just entered North Carolina, and the sun 
is shining. The rain got left behind. Sky, and, is it clear? Yep, the, the rain got left behind in Virginia. <clears throat> so we try to we'll try to go through North Carolina today before we stop for the night. We'll see if that works out. Notice the freeway has flowers in the middle, and they're quite pretty. There were some red ones back there, and now we have uh, yellow ones. Somebody's done a good job. Purple as well, too. Yeah, we saw some purple ones. It's very, very pretty. They're not as bright today as when we saw them on the way up, but I think it may have been that the flowers are a little past our prime, or it may be the light that we're having today is not as bright. Anyway, in the medium, in the medium of the, of the freeway, in this particular state, they often have these wonderful fields of flowers. Well, we found the rest area. Coming up, good place to stop and stretch our legs and basically get rid of the cobwebs. Trailers on the right, so to, but all right. Too late, we're here. You should fall, fall in. Did it come up? It's good. Yeah. Alright. Now it's working. Well, well, I don't know what happens is I moved it and when I moved it I must have touched something. Anyway, we just left the rest area and we're on the road again we're in North Carolina and we should make South Carolina within the next hour or so well another view stop huh? another stop The mileage with the trailer and back is not quite the same. Now it's 8.7. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting closer to 8, 9 instead of 20. And so we have to stop more often for fuel. Anyway, back on the road. What is? That we're down at eight and nine. <laughs> well, you know, I could tell you that was going to happen because I went oh, through yeah. it before. When I was uh, bringing the other boat from California, the problem was in some of the strips of road. There were not many gas stations along the long of the way. Sometimes I mean, they're 70, 80 miles apart. And if you ran out of fuel in between, then you had a uh, major hurt. Yeah, a major problem. Yeah. So it was a bit of a, a concern. Also, many of the gas stations were not suitable for a, to have a 
trailer. The way you have to come into them and go out of them, they didn't give you no room to swing. And now, all, and all these road is better. Now, did you have um, any deserts to go through? Well, yeah, Arizona. Because I know Arizona, you know, you pretty much have desert. Yeah. You, well, we came out from Los Angeles to Arizona. Okay. And there were some, some desert areas there, but that wasn't a big issue. The issue was when you get into places in Texas, you go for miles. In places in Louisiana, mm -hmm. you're going over this elevated line over the swamp, and that goes on for miles and miles. And many freeways overall were that way, that they had facilities for trucks, but in those facilities they did not have gasoline. And the ones that were that had gasoline did not have the facility to allow you to bring a trailer. Okay? Oh, they, were, they were meant to to just handle a car because you had to make a, a quick turn and so on, and, and it just wasn't possible. And you, with the trailer, you may have had to go in and back up and go in again. And well, people always were right up against the back of the trailer and wouldn't give you a chance to pull off, you know. So yeah. it was very stressful. Unfortunately, some of the film that we took regarding this trip, the last part, got lost. So I'm going to have to try to narrate what took place, and hopefully that will give you an idea of what we ran through. The first thing that happened is we were coming into Florida, down the 95, when we got a blowout that uh, made a tire fall apart into a million pieces and we had to stop next to the road and of course we promptly called AAA to ask them to come and fix it but they said that it would take an hour so we started waiting for AAA but not 10 minutes had passed and a truck showed up with a fellow that promptly changed the tire for us and it was someone from the city, from, from the state. These people are there to try to help uh, travelers. And the man did an excellent job, changed the tire, uh, tried to straighten out the fender that had bent a little and got it uh, all running and got us back again. He said that if you're any California, Florida road, and you have an issue like that, just call 911 or the Highway Patrol and they will send somebody to help, which is a nice thing to, to find out. So we then kept going and we ran into some heavy traffic in the Tampa area after we came across and that delayed us. We had planned to be home by three and well, one thing and another, we didn't make it home until 7. So we uncooked it, the boat and came in the house to a wonderful Osobuco and Polenta dinner that my lovely wife prepared for us. So that was the end of the trip. It was uh, a fun thing to do. And uh, well, I hope that you might have picked up a point or two that may be used to yourself. Also, don't please, please remember, we would really appreciate it if you did a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you again.